so after though I crashed with my DJI air unit and I just lost the pins from MMCX from the antenna not from the air unit the air unit was okay but I have to remove them to solder directly the antenna to the air unit because the connection was bad and I lost uh, the front of the MMCX I decided to cut a little bit and also strip the wire and connect it straight to the air unit now I'm gonna take it apart and show you how I connect those antennas straight to the DJI air unit and because now you don't have the connection to just plug and play how they call them for the MMCX uh, with those kind of 3D print uh, holders for antenna I was not able to use them anymore so I have to go in CAD and just redesign them with a hole in the middle to can remove my antennas from the drone if I want to work on so basically just this they come out from the top and also from the bottom and very easy so uh, let me take it out and open the air unit and I'm gonna show you exactly how I connect them another thing when you take out the camera from here you have two screws over here and after just the uh, cable you just pull it up from the right and the left with the small tweezer you just pull it up from here and here after that you will gonna don't pull just up straight uh, this top plate after you take out one screw from here and one from here you just open it a little bit and just twist it and here inside you're gonna see you have a cable and this one it is connected with two screws on the top part here and with a metal bracket and also here I don't know if you can see that uh, it has a connector this one uh, this is the best way to take it out and easy you know from left and right just pull it a little bit up and you're gonna get you know free from there this is how I do it and after I can work on the you know the DJI air unit we need basically this part not that one after you take it apart this uh, so how you can see I don't have those connection because I removed them and you have another one two three screws over here on top and we're gonna need screwdriver no this is too big smaller one we have one here yes kitty one here one here so this is a small bracket it's holding the connector now gently you just remove it uh, when you're gonna remove it first time you're gonna have some blue past here for the heating I remove all of them from here and from inside too you if you're gonna remove this shield you're gonna have another two or three pieces here uh, I basically just use the normal uh, thermal past unconductive from the computer and it's working well basically it's much cooler than before I don't know why it's working fine for me so I don't have complaint about that this is the M MMCX connector but you're gonna find that it is around uh, on top here something like if I can grab it with these tweezers or not yep. okay so you're gonna find it right here just like this and to remove this one you have to hit it very very well and on the nail here 
this is basically the ground and in the other side the same and this is copper and the signal is just in the middle here when you're gonna remove this one you're gonna need a very big tip of your uh, soldering iron I use this guy here and it was working perfectly and with this one I just you know hold it right here and hold it in the other side hold it here hold it in the other side and after it was getting very hot around 400 degrees I just you know put it in this side here and I just push it out just like you know basically slide it out uh, you can use the hot gun if you are good enough and much easier just put some uh, flux on the top and you just you know remove it I don't want to make a mess with the flux so I just use a uh, straight to heat it up and just remove it and here it was the other connection was just you know plugging in in the MMCX book what is going this guy here come here my friend come here they just plug it in here and I just heat it up and I just remove them one of them the other one I have to clip it and I was ending with one antenna much longer and one antenna much uh, shorter so I decided to cut them both to the same length I strip them and after I strip the, the wires in the middle uh, you have a plastic you have this kind of uh, around where is the ground and after another plastic and after in the middle there is the signal and this I split it in two parts in the middle here you can see I still have a little bit of this shield I split it in two I put a lot of solder here and here to be steady you know, it doesn't move anywhere and whoa, I take some cream on my hand this pasta anyway I are gonna put a little bit more later and the signal is here after you connect it here be very careful to don't touch this with this or this with that be very 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 careful with this uh, you have to take a very small tip put here and put a little bit of uh, soldering solder and just make a small bubble uh, I recommend that first of all just cut the link to be exactly where it's ending the this part here to be the end of the, the plastic you're gonna see it if you're gonna take it apart and to be from here until exactly where is ending the pad after that you just solder the ground basically left and right and in the end you're just gonna solder the, the rest of it and how to do it it's very very easy you basically take your uh, soldering iron you just push put pressure on the plastic on the top and with some soldering on the solder on the top of the the iron you just put pressure and you just push it down and after you push it down and you see the bubble over there and just leave it and after just remove it and everything will be stay there measure between those and those with the multimeter in con uh, conductivity and if you don't have any beeps that means it's good no problems if you have something that's not gonna be okay uh, let me show you that so let's take our powering up and here is the conductivity and if we touch those two we're gonna have a beep let's put this one on top here why not so let's see side with side yes of course we have side with other side of course we have with the middle we don't have any connection conductivity that's good so be care be very careful to don't touch those two with the solder or also those two <coughs> and uh, 
Be very careful that you have a small part here and a small part here. Don't break this and don't break this. And you're gonna be good to go again with the air unit. Uh, what I recommended if uh, you don't want to use your original antennas, so let's say you just have the have them normal and you just wanna you know increase or remove the chances of losing the antenna or video in the middle of the, the flight you can find them in the internet much longer than you know the normal size I, I, I'm sure it's like 10 centimeters the normal ones I'm sure they are like 10 centimeters or something like that seven point yeah eight and with the other part of the air move it around eight something nine uh, you can find them around 15 centimeters 150 millimeters that's gonna be like so much better depending on what kind of quad and what kind of uh, wing or plane you use them maybe you're gonna need it strip the wires enough to measure here before you solder solder it solder the middle afterwards and you are good to go if you know if you don't like it you just can put it back the mmcx and the original dj antenna and it's gonna be normal you know like the original part uh, another tip if you gonna by mistake you're gonna remove from the crash or by yourself by mistake when you're gonna take out the MMCX from here and you strip up strip out this part or this part right here uh, in the left side there is a small piece right here I cannot show you but maybe I'm gonna put a picture to show you exactly how it's looking you you can strip a little bit the on the top here to find the connection and you just gonna connect it over there in this side you have a little bit more and also be gentle because you can pull it out all those from you know from here until to this one when you don't have to bother with uh, this part I am sure is ground like everywhere so you can strip a little bit more or a little bit more and just connect it uh, in the in the side I'm gonna just confirm that now I never check it so I'm gonna confirm now if I'm gonna touch this part here and this part here yes we have and the letters no and the sides uh, whoop, 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 whoop. where are you going okay so all this part here it is ground except this and this those two they are not ground those two they are not ground okay in the middle here everything you can strip until here until here you know it just scratch it until you're gonna find copper and just you know re resolder a little bit out and this part here but be very gen gentle when you're gonna remove the mmcx connector uh, put it around 400 degrees I don't know how much it's in Fahrenheit 400 480 for a short time and just you know just you're gonna basically just slide it off uh, put a lot of heat on the beginning afterwards put it here in the front and just slide it out make the same the other side and I recommend to just replace your uh, the normal pasta that you have it here I'm not sure if I'm gonna find it right now so if you wanna change your uh, normally blue uh, heatsink thermal compound I use this MX2 from uh, Arctic it's 2019 edition I don't know maybe you're gonna find something else uh, those are very good because they are not conductive and you know you just can put it everywhere if you want doesn't matter uh, doesn't have a conductivity so doesn't 
make shorts between components inside in your uh, DJI. Also for the computers, the same thing. Uh, I recommend it to replace it. It's much cooler, uh, much cooler your air unit from uh, from before. And also, you know, if you do this mod here, you're gonna have much better quality signal and also a little bit more range or penetration in the between the trees and walls. It's much better. Uh, I don't gonna do this one in my Protec 35. I'm gonna leave it stock, but because I was having a problem and also losing the connectors from the MMCX and I don't want to buy another antenna from DJI, I just do remove it and make it you know, directly to the air unit. If you learn uh, something from this video, just like and subscribe for my channel for more videos like this and happy flight!